Hey, what's up, guys? Let's keep going. Let's do the exit ticket real fast. So on number two, it said, what is the angle in degrees that is the same as pi over two radians? Okay, so remember, these, this is the one that I wanted you to know. Pi over two is the same thing as, as what? As 90 degrees, right? So we go over here and we, we go to an angle of pi over two or 90 degrees. Okay, so the answer was 90 degrees. Pi over two is 90 degrees, okay? What is the angle in degrees that is the same as pi over four? Okay, well, pi over four, what, what is that angle? If, if you have pi over four radians, you have to have what? 45 degrees, right? And the, it, just so everyone knows, the angle is taken from, from this point right here, this line right here, right? And any angle theta is either measured in um, degrees or radians, right? Uh, what was another one? What was the uh, oh, what was the answer to this? 45 degrees. What was the next one? What is the angle in degrees that is the same as pi radians? Okay, so pi radians. What was pi radians? Go all the way over to 180 degrees. Okay, 180 degrees is pi radians. Same thing, okay? That's like you turning around, right? You have to turn 180 degrees if you want to turn all the way around. <clears throat> this one said, what is the value of the Y coordinate at pi over six radians? Okay, so you had to, um, you had to go, you had to find pi over six radians first, and here it is right here, pi over six. Okay, and I actually want to, I want to draw this for you. Change colors here, this is the graph, right? X and Y, and oh, I don't know, it's somewhere right here. Okay, so it has an X, Y uh, value, or excuse me, pair of root three over two, one half. Okay, I'm just getting that from this graph right here. Okay. So what is that saying, right? This is the X value and this is the Y value. It's saying that if you had uh, lengths of a triangle this would this would be the x this would be x this length right here which is square root of 3 over 2 that's one leg of the, of the triangle or the adjacent side if you're looking at it this way if this is theta remember and then this is the opposite side and the opposite side is actually y right it's the y value this is root 3 over 2 this is 1 half so this length right here is one half. What was the hypotenuse? Remember, what was the hypotenuse length here? If it's a unit circle and you have a radius of one, then the uh, then the, uh, uh, the 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 radius of the hypotenuse of this triangle is one. Okay. So let's go back to the question. It says, what is the value of the y coordinate pi over six radians? So here's pi over six. What is the y coordinate? It's one half. It's right here. There's the answer. Okay, it's the it's this length right here. Okay, so it was one half right there. What is the value of the y coordinate at zero radians? Okay, so zero radians is zero degrees, and that's right here. Okay, so it's almost like we we don't we don't make it, it we don't make an angle right. It's zero degrees. So what is the y value? or the y coordinate at zero radians. It's right here. It's zero. Okay, so it's zero. Uh, there's the random factoid. Uh, probably one of my most famous, uh, or probably one of my most uh, favorite famous jazz musicians is named Thelonious Monk. Okay? Um, I've played his music in after school and all the, all the time, so some of you guys have probably heard of him. So let's make sure we understand what's going on here, right? You should be able to do these pretty quick, assuming you understand the unit circle now. What is the y value of 5 pi fourths? Okay, so we got to go find 5 pi fourths. Here's pi fourths. Here's uh, 3 pi fourths. Here's pi. Here's 5 pi fourths right here. See? Now I'm asking for the y value. It's... Uh, y value at 5 pi over 4. What is it? 
negative square root of 2 over 2. Okay, all I'm asking you to do is go find the angle in radians or degrees and then tell me the x or y coordinates um, on the unit circle. What is the x value of 3 pi over 2? Okay, so x value at 3 pi over 2. You should be able to answer these. What is it? Well, here's pi over 2. Keep going. Here's 2 pi over 2. What's 2 pi over 2? It's just pi, right? That's 2 pi over 2. Pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2. Okay, so there's 3 pi over 2 right here. What's the y value, or excuse me, the x value at that point? Looks to me like it's zero. This is just an extension of the homework that you guys did just and making sure that you guys understand this. If you get this, you can move on to the next step. Okay. Uh, one more. Uh, what is the x value? You should be writing these down just so you get comfortable with saying 11 pi sixths, for example, or 3 pi halves or 5 pi fourths. Uh, what is the x value at 11 pi 6? Where's 11 pi 6? It's way over here at the end. 11 pi 6. What is the x value right here? How do you say it? You say root 3 over 2. That's root 3 over 2. Okay? Oh yeah, one more. Sorry. Let's make sure everyone's on board. Beat me to it. Fix. Uh, figure it out before I do. Or if, pause the video and then see if you're right. What is the x value at uh, 5 pi over 6. Well, where's 5 pi 6? It's right there. So what's the x value at that point? It's negative root 3 over 2. Okay. Hope everyone's got that. If you don't have that, go back, uh, look at the homework again. We're going to move on. Um, to uh, the next to uh, the next topic, we're going to expand on it now. So uh, I want to focus on 30 degrees, 45, 60, and 90 degrees for a minute. Okay. I want you to really understand what this graph is telling you. Okay. So take some time, get out a piece of paper, and do this with me. Okay. Every single person. On here is going to have to learn how uh, trigonometry anyway so you might as well learn it now right okay so we already know two intercepts of, of a unit circle right they're here at since it has a radius of one then we know that the x uh, the, the x value of this point is one and the y value is zero and we also know up here that the x value is what 0 and the y value is 1, right? Because it's it's a radius of 1 that's swinging around in a circle, right? Okay. So now uh, I'm going to trace that. I'm actually going to trace that circle as best I can. Okay. And then we're gonna put the oof. and then we're gonna put the points on there. Okay. So here's pi over six, here's pi fourths, and here's pi thirds. Okay. And we're gonna try and make them all different colors. Let's do let's do 30 degrees as this. This will be pi six. Okay, so here's here's theta. I'll say theta 1. Okay. Uh, no, no, let's not say theta. Let's not be ambiguous. Let's just say 30 degrees, right? We know what theta is. Let's not even call it theta. <clears throat> okay, so look at these coordinates again. It says uh, uh, 30 degrees. I'm, I'm also going to put or pi over 6, right? Pi over 6 radians. Same thing as 30 degrees. Okay, so look at look at the xy coordinates here again. What is the xy coordinate of this point? It's square root of three over two, one half, right? Okay, 
So what does that really mean? It really means that you're looking at a triangle. Uh, there's, there's multiple triangles inside this unit circle. And this triangle has an angle of 30 degrees. You can draw a line right here. And th this is a right angle right here. Okay, And this length right here along the x-axis is this x is this uh, is the um, is root 3 over 2 right because we have to go over root 3 over 2 and then we have to go up 1 half so this is 1 half and this is root 3 over 2 okay it's whole length that's what that's really what these coordinates mean right you go over x and then up y it also makes a triangle just like this okay um, let's uh, let's do another one let's do this one let's do pi let's do pi fourths right so let's draw the line up okay do you remember what this what this was called what was this what was this line called here if, if it was a triangle this is also this is called the radius right the radius is what one but if it was a triangle what do we call that? The hypotenuse, right? Remember that? Okay. Now, what were the x, y coordinates of pi of pi fourths or forty five degrees on the unit circle? It was square root of two over two, square root of two over two. Okay. Meaning that this line let me change uh, to a different color. Maybe a yellow would work. This line right here. If we could make a triangle, that line, that line is square root two over two uh, long. Square root two over two, and this length here is square root of two over two. Okay. And it's cool. Notice that it's smaller, right? And it makes sense, right? That square root of 2 over 2 is smaller than root 3 over 2. Okay, so that makes sense. And they're also the same. This is also a, uh, these two, these two legs of this triangle are the same. This is a, uh, a right angle. Okay. Now let's do the, uh, let's do the last one. Let's do uh, pi thirds or 60 degrees. Oh, I, I also forgot to add, uh, we could put a, I'm going to put a little dotted line like this, and then I'm going to put here 45 degrees, or pi fourths, right, that's this, that's this whole angle right here, right, and then we can have an even bigger angle that's 60 degrees, I'm going to draw like this. That's 60 degrees or um, pi thirds, pi third radians, as we, as we would say. Okay, and then what was this one? That's 90 degrees, right? This is from from here all the way to here is 90 degrees. Okay, so let's finish on these legs here, right? Let's let's make sure we understand the x y coordinates of pi thirds uh, on the unit circle. What's the x y coordinate? It's one half root three over two. Okay. So what does that really mean? This is x. This is x, and this is y. And all it's saying is that the x. Uh, let's see. Let me get a an orange in there. Uh, it's saying that the x, if we could draw a arrow here, this length here would be one half. Okay, and, and my 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 drawing's a little off. This one half should be about oh, like right about here visually, right? Because it's one half of one, so it should be about like right in here. So sorry about that. It just means my circle isn't very good. And then we can draw the other side of the triangle. And this side of the triangle has to be how long? Root 3 over 2. Root 3 over 2 long, right? That's what the coordinate is telling you. And then just just to make sure we're all on board, if you swing 90 degrees, 
you can swing 90 degrees and you'll, uh, you'll get um, a line that's up line that's up here, right? And it has an x value of zero because it's it, it's uh, it's only on the y axis and a and a y value of one. Why? Because the hypotenuse or the radius, the hypotenuse of the triangle, one one one, or the um, or the radius of the circle in our case is just one. Okay, and that's just that's what it's telling you. It would be, since you have a y value of one, this length must be one up uh, on the y axis. Okay, <clears throat> that's all I have for you today. Um, I hope you draw this out because you're going to need it for the exit ticket and the homework. I'm going to be basically quizzing you on the quadrant two of the unit circle. Okay, uh, cool. And I made this a little shorter to give you guys some extra time on the homework. So thank you. Bye-bye.